See, if you've been thinking of ditching Chrome, this video is for you. Look, let's face it, there are a lot of interesting browsers out there. Internet Explorer is now Edge using the Chromium engine. There are privacy-focused browsers like Brave. There are interesting browsers like Vivaldi. But if you want to switch from Chrome, you don't need a browser that's just slightly better. You need a browser that's 10x more powerful. And I might have found a browser. See, I was reading about this browser online and after trying it out, not only is this way more powerful when compared to Chrome, this looks like it's going to be the future of browsers. The browser I'm talking about is called Arc and first of all, I love its modern UI, the customizability and the whole setup process is great. This is based on the Chromium engine so you can import everything, your bookmarks, you have all your Chrome extensions. It's seamless but let's talk about how this is powerful. See first up, this is the most powerful thing about Arc. Just press Command plus T and you get this, Arc's own Mac-like spotlight feature and this does everything. You can open a new tab with this, open a website or search for anything, you can pin a tab add a new extension, manage extensions, look at your browser history, clear today's history or even cookies, search for a setting. This can do everything and it's actually really good. No need to go to different menus and settings. This is powerful stuff, but the best thing about Arc is that it brings features that I did not know I wanted. Check this out. I can press Command plus Option plus N and this opens up a mini browser window like this. And this is great when you want to quickly check something on the web without having to open a new tab altogether. This is interesting, but what's even better is that this works everywhere. So say I'm in Slack and someone sends me a fancy word, I can use this command to quickly open a mini window and search for the word meaning on Google. How useful is this? Now this is probably my favorite thing about Arc, but that's not all. Arc takes a lot of things to the next level. Take screenshots, for example. I can just click on this camera icon and I can now drag to take a screenshot I want or I can just let it automatically detect the elements in a web page so I can take a more specific clean screenshot. This is super cool. I mean, Arc has clearly transformed screenshots on a browser. And once I've taken a screenshot, I can just copy it, send via iMessage or add it to my easel. Now the easel is also very cool and something I've always wanted in Chrome. It's basically sort of a dedicated scrapbook where for example, I can save my different ideas. I can save links here, images, text and what's cool is I can save screenshots and the screenshots show the URL I took it from. It's very handy. Plus I can share this whole page with others and if this is a bit too much for you, Arc even has a simple notes built in which is again something everyone will use. Look notes and all are good but let's not get sidetracked. Let me talk about the next powerful thing about Arc and this is actually something that I've always wanted on Chrome. So I have a usual tab open in Arc and now I can just drag another tab and drop it to open it up in split screen. Yes, Arc has split screen multitasking built in. I mean, you don't need to open up multiple tabs and switch between them one by one. This is so useful. I mean, I can drag and drop another tab and see three websites at the same time. And you can see that there's no lag. It works beautifully. I can even create tab combos and pin them to open them together whenever I want. Arc is also way more customizable when compared to Chrome. For example, it has spaces. I mean, I've set up a workspace with all my work websites and URLs and I have another space for my personal websites and I can switch between them with just a swipe. This, if you ask me, makes Arc more like an app rather than just a browser. Also, I love how you can customize these colors, make a gradient, add noise, and there's haptic feedback on this on the touchpad. It's incredible. See, I can keep giving you examples to show you how powerful Arc is compared to Chrome. You can rename tabs and icons. The previews from the tabs actually make sense. I can see my emails just from the preview. It also has a library that shows you files from your system. So no need to open the file explorer separately. It has a boost feature that lets you tweak a website to your liking and theme it. There's a focus mode which hides the sidebar for a clean, immersive experience. Look, this was kind of a quick look at Arc and I know this is limited. It's invite only, it's still beta testing. It's only available on Mac. But you know what? I can see the vision behind this browser and it is tremendous. Now, obviously they will launch Arc on Windows and also phones maybe later on and bring a stable version that's bug free. But I just have a strong feeling that this is going to make a dent in Chrome's big, huge market share. What do you think about this? Comment down below. Also, give this video a like if you found this useful. Share this video with your friends and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. That's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. So this app has been trending on the App Store and this app will make your chats way more fun. I'm talking about the Mimix app and this...